way that we did with our aligning our systems on our campuses at it was for the elementary campus that we um, were um, focusing on. <laughs> and so what we did is that we started with um, aligning our systems within our um, campus leader. And so we started with leadership. And so not only did we start with our principal and her systems and rolling those out, but then also our leaders at our campus. And so then we were a small district. And so we were able to, to bring aboard our, our leadership um, and make our teachers aware of the why and, and looking into the systems and, and having that buy-in. I think that um, one thing that is, is great about the team that comes in with us is that it's the same team. You know, it's Letty and Amy, and they come in, and they're already part of our family. Everyone knows them. Um, we built that trust, and so they were able to come in and and look at the systems that we had, um, and help us to align. You know, to make sure that we had the fidelity that we had the systems in place, to make sure that not only our leader was comfortable with it, but and natural, right? That it came naturally to her and her style but that it also um, flowed down to, you know, our, our campus leaders and our, our uh, the rest of our teachers and staff. And so I think that that helped with the aligning is that everyone was getting the same message. And it wasn't a cookie cutter um, plan that was brought in. It was tailored to our needs, our districts, like I said, and the way that our personalities are at, at a, um, at the at the campus level. So I think that that really helped with aligning because um, the buy-in then was was right away because it was us creating the system. They were guiding us in what was needed. And so then I think that that's what's helped to keep with the fidelity of it is that, you know, it, we have now new leadership at that campus, at the elementary campus. And so because we had those systems in place, that new um, person came in, which before she was actually a, a uh, one of our leaders on the campus already. And so it kind of helped to flow. And so I think that the lining of that really helped because it was it was unique to our district and it was exactly what we needed. Yes, Avada, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, that's often why, you know, we lean so heavily on systems and, and all of our work because it outlives a leader, right? It outlives a principal. Um, so I'm Glad to hear that that next principal was able to take that system and run with it, um, giving her own flavor to the system. So thank you for sharing that. Um, Sarah, is there anything she stole all yours? I know. Hey, I love it, Yvonne. I'm so glad to see you. So, man, what a year, two years to be in fair with, with E3. Um, I'm actually going to start with the second question, describe my experience, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the question about alignment because my arrows were all over the place. And that's exactly what these two ladies did for me was she, they came in with love and with passion and with um, a, a much, very much an excitement for public education. And they gave us back on our campus that fire that I knew all my staff had, but they just needed something. And it was the systems and processes. And, and especially that campus playbook, that system of shared, shared instructional strategies, just to really rally behind we had some great things going on, but all of our arrows were going all over the place. And so their work helped us create those systems. And I, and I call that legacy work because that's going to be bigger than me sitting here as the principal at my desk. Those systems and processes that we put in place are going to be the legacy of LaGrange Middle School. And, and it's going to continue being one of the premier middle schools in the state of Texas now because of E3's work with us. We were good, but man, they made us great. We were so much better. Um, we aligning our systems on our campus created this momentum for change and it, and it made change safe. It made change feel manageable. It made change feel like it, it was well thought out. It was very intentional, very explicit and really addressing that knowing and doing gap made sure that we weren't going too fast or too slow for all of our teachers so that they had all the knowledge and skills to be prepared to implement the wonderful things that that we were supported with and one of the things that e3 it's specific and i have to give kudos to terry and allison specifically so i had yvonne had the fortunate uh, blessed for the past two years to work with these two ladies and they helped me with this cadence of accountability you know what gets monitored gets done and putting systems in place so that 
If you have it written down, it's going to get done. You have that detailed and documented. It's communicated with clarity because it's all written right there. Um, one of the pieces that I always miss as a leader was ensuring that my communication was received the way that I intended it to be received. And that's the definition of clarity. It's actually two-way communication. And so repeating and reviewing and ensuring that you're getting that feedback from the people you're communicating with, that they're receiving it correctly. And then as far as professional learning, there is nothing more important than that for us to grow and having that growth mindset to be the very best teachers for our kids. We have to have the very best professional learning. And that's what E3 brought to us. And then, like I spoke about the cadence of accountability, they helped us as leaders for my instructional leadership team. They helped us calibrate so that when we went to do walkthroughs in classrooms, it was intentional and it was specific and it didn't feel like it got you to my staff. What it felt like was support. They felt like, oh, she said this is what we're going to do and now this is what she's looking for. And there's a comfort in that. And so those systems and processes really changed the culture of our campus so that in fact, I just interviewed a new a new math lab a person. It's an internal transfer in the district. And there were three things that I shared with her that are very important to us as a campus. And every single one of them came from this parts of school leadership systems. And I said, if you're comfortable with those things, we welcome you to LaGrange Middle School. And she was like, wow, yes. This is, you know, because it's comfort. I, I You know what you're getting up front. So I appreciated the, the, uh, the class and the professionalism that Terry and Angie came in with us, uh, Terry, Angie, Terry and Allison came in with us because we had a lot of work to do, but we didn't always think we had that work to do. And so they were so professional at helping guide us to showing us and helping us grow even as leaders where we could do better for our teachers and then ultimately for our students. So I, I, I appreciate E3 very, very much.